All right, fella, that's all you get. You already got, you got two hand picks. And kayak fishing, a lot of work, guys. But if we get on some big fish, it's worth it, right? Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. I thought I was hung on the bottom. Oh, he broke me off. Guys, my camera died as soon as I hooked this red fish. I'm using my iPhone right now. Big red fish, dude. I got a tank. I hope I don't lose anything here. We oh, got a good one. We oh, got a flipping good one here. <laughs> oh, I got a tangle in my braid, too. Look at the size of that red. Ho oh, ho, oh, baby. Yeah. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Baby, look at the size of that red. That's a tank. That's a tank. My camera died as soon as I hooked him. That is a big boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Wow. What a freaking red. Oh, he's getting tangled in the braid. Come on, don't get tangled in the line. That's a 30, 31 and a half inch redfish right there. Woo hoo! All right, big guy, get him back in the water. Yeah, keep him in the water here. All right, heck yeah, nice. Man, what a freaking red fish. What a red, nice. What a nice surprise. He's starting to kick good. Yep, he's, uh, he's about ready. All right. See ya. Nice. Whoa, are you kidding me? Two giant fish, man, at an hour. Oh my gosh. That fish totally surprised me. My camera died like as soon as I set the hook. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm giving Old Town a big shout out for their customer service right here. I called them. I pressed one. I pressed one again. Get right on the phone with the representative. Told them what the problem was, the kayak, the electrical issue, the disconnect, the motor not found. Start, they started asking me questions right away. Asked me to send them pictures. I emailed them pictures. It took a couple days. We got it all worked out, you guys, but it was definitely the battery box lid. See, these lids come pre-wired. You just hook them right up to the battery. But you can see here the positive wire runs into this little breaker and it runs back out. Well, that little breaker is all corroded. So what Old Town did is they sent me a new battery box lid and yeah, it's working great. So here's the deal. When I store this kayak, I always leave the battery box in there and I flip the kayak upside down. So what apparently was happening is any type of salt water that had gotten inside of that battery box when I flipped that thing upside down was probably just dripping on that connection, running down the wires or whatever, and caused that to, to get corroded. But so motor not found issue has been solved. All the electric connections are working the way that they should. Thanks, Old Town. Good job. Smaller shrimp. Smaller rod. Yep. Oh, oh, that's not a small fish. That's not a small fish. We got him. We got him. We got him. That's a good one. What the heck? Things fighting like a catfish. Ah, sheep. Big sheep's head, man. Big sheep's head. Wow. Not what I was expecting, but I'll take it big sheep look at the size of that dude Hoo -hoo. heck yeah oh he's barely hooked he's barely hooked in the top of the mouth that's a keeper big old sheeper sheeper look at the size of that dude wow Nice. Here I am all rigged up to catch a giant snooker redfish and I catch a huge sheep's head. Sweet. Well, let's see if we got another one. There he is. Oh, dang it. Man, they are right in the junk up there. Yep, there he is. There he is. There he is. We got him. Oh, I lost him. Dang it.
There he is. There we go. Get out of there. Oh, it's another big sheep. It's another good sheep. Sheeper, sheeper. What is it? Maybe it's not a sheep. I can't tell what it is, guys. Things going freaking berserko on me. Yeah, another sheep. Another sheepy, sheepy. Take it. We'll take it. He's so good. All right. Check this guy. Oh, he's easy 12. He's easy 12. Oh, yeah. That's a uh, 14 inch sheep, man. 14 and a half. There he is. There he is. There he is. Yep. Another good one. Another good one. Heck yeah, baby. Woo -hoo. You know it. They're nice sheep, Zed. Come on here, big guy. Uh, he's pretty small. He's a little small. I'm measuring. Well, I'm measuring real quick. See what we got. Yeah, eleven and a half. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys, we're going to be doing an experiment, a test. This is a universal battery, 9 amp hour. These are the small ones that you put in, like, your kayak for your fish finder. In here, you guys, I've got a fish saver aerator. These are the ones that circulate water. I'm going to stick this inside of my five-gallon bucket. It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to hook this up and see how long this 9 amp hour battery will power this fish saver aerator. All right, guys, we got her hooked up. These fish savers are the best aerators for keeping live bait alive for a long time. You can see why. It circulates the water, and it also filters out the impurities in the water as well. The weather report is not good for today. It's supposed to rain, and it's cold and windy. So I knew there'd be nobody out here, so here I am. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Got to cut, bake it up cut bait out the back I just threw it out there in the deep water pretty deep here man this water is so clear and I am so friggin cold there he is there he is there he is that's a good one that's a good one all right it's about friggin time we got another sheeper sheeper another sheeper look like we might have a keeper sheeper nice We got a fighter. We got us a fighter. Don't you pull off of there, fella. Boy, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. That's a good one. I better net this guy. You better net this guy. Yeah, there we go. You done. Oh, that is a fine looking sheep's head. Yeah, baby. We'll take it hours and hours and hours i've been out here grinding it out we got another big old sheeper sheeper starting to get a little pile of fish here so when you bleed your sheep said there's two ways to do it you can take your needle nose pliers and right behind the pectoral fin just poke inside there and then also right underneath the gill cover that soft tissue you can just cut it with a knife stick your finger in there just tear that membrane right next to the gills and that'll cause them to bleed them out. This guy right here, yeah, he's a he's a 15. All right guys, it is 7.23, sometime between about 7 and 7.23, the aerator shut off. So I would say we've ran a full six hours and at least 15 minutes. It's been a couple hours since I caught a fish, nice. Got us a big old sheep's head. Yeah, we're starting to get us a pile of sheepers down there. I never measured that first one. I just said, dang, that's a big old sheeper. That first one, dude, he's a 16-incher. Yeah, we're getting a hit. There he is. There we go. Oh, he broke me off. Yeah, no, he didn't. He just came unbuttoned. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. We got fish on this dock. Nice. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Man, it's not taking long at all. As soon as I get it up there, they're hitting it. There he is. 
Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yep, another good one. Another good one. Sheep's head bite is on. I think he's gonna keep though. No, nope. 11 and a half. See ya. Nice. This dock has definitely got the sheeps on it. That's every every cast. If I can get it under the dock. Oh, perfect cast, JC. Perfect cast. That might be a hit. Yep. There we go. There we go. We got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's gonna be a keeper. That's gonna be a keeper sheeper. Yeah, we got a good one here. We got us a fighter. This dock has got the sheep set on it. Got some good ones on it. Another keeper. Definitely a keeper. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. I told you guys it's sheep's head season. Another big old sheeper. I got a light misty rain that's just starting, but got me some new floor mats for my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. Guys, it's got spot lock technology. All you do is just press a button and it anchors on a GPS anchor system. This is the kayak of all kayaks. I'm telling you, it is a game changer. I absolutely love my Old Town Sportsman autopilot 120 it's funny you don't even have to get it right next to the piling they're just all underneath that dock right there i think the bite is kind of shut down no nope, no nope, there he is he's got it there he is there we go just about the time you say it's shut down you get hooked up that was on a whole shrimp there and it is raining guys i tell you the things i do to make a video it's cold windy rainy and i'm catching sheep's head yeah that's a keeper that's a keeper sheeper come on in here buddy yeah nice all right nice he's gonna keep he's gonna keep Mr. Sheep. Mr. Sheep's going to keep. And I'm going to let him keep that hook. That's a good one. Yeah. He's actually uh, 13 inches. Nice. Get this guy expired. <laughs> All right, Red Reelers. You see what I go through to make a video? It's raining. It's 55 degrees and it's blowing like 12 to 15 mile an hour winds. And I'm having a great time. Let's get another one. I'm freaking nuts. I'm just crazy. I wanna go over the gear real quick I'm using today. This is my Pin Pursuit 4004. I absolutely love this reel. It's got a power handle. I'll put a link in the description area. You guys can go check that out. I like the Ashken Fish Braid. This is 20 pound test. There'll be a link in the description area as well. I was leadered up with 20 pound test monofilament leader, number one owner hook. I like the owner brand hooks for sheep's head fishing because they're really tough. Those sheep said the mouth, they've got teeth in their mouth. When you're trying to get those hooks out, if you buy the cheaper hooks, like I've used the ones, the cheaper ones from Walmart, like Eagle Claw and stuff, and the hooks just break off, they snap off. But these owner hooks do really well. You're able to get them out. They're expensive, but I like to use them when I'm fishing for sheep's head. Um, my rod, you guys, this is just like a medium power rod it's a 6.6 six. this is a shimano convergence i bought it at a uh, pawn shop for like nine dollars but i also like the ugly stick gx2 six foot six medium i'll put a link in the description area uh, for that rod as well all right let's clean some sheep head. hey guys i picked up a new fillet knife the other day this is an optum blade yeah it's a little bit bigger than my maracnum knife 
And the cool thing is it's an actual kit. It's got a glove and a sharpener in there. We're gonna give this thing a test. It says the glove is a number five safety glove. It's supposed to be cut resistant. And uh, we're gonna give that a test today and make sure it's cut resistant. Yeah, I definitely needed a longer blade knife for uh, bigger fish. Also for cut cleaning sheep's head because they're so wide. We're gonna clean some sheep's head today. Here's our uh, knife sharpener. And we got some gloves. I was looking at these online. I thought they would be like the stainless steel mesh, but they're not. They're actually just cloth gloves. But yeah, we'll see how, how well they're going to work. Pelican stole one of my fish when I wasn't looking. I had six of them. It's razor sharp. Good simulation for fingers. Razor sharp blade. Well, if you were just you were just cutting and the knife just kind of slipped, I mean I'm hitting that hard. Listen, that's not bad. That was actually cut resistant, so it would help some. You're really bearing down and putting a lot of pressure. Not very cut resistant. <laughs> not cut proof but yeah i think this is more just help you like if you're cutting and you accidentally slip and uh yeah this thing has a really very flexible blade i think it's probably just going to take a little getting used to using this longer blade because i've been using my more more knife for quite some time oh my goodness all right get go away he's trying to come in here and steal my my fish right out of my hand here he's a hungry little pelican get no 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 stop I'll give you some. Just wait. Don't be greedy. He stole one when I wasn't looking. <laughs> I was doing some video stuff, a little review on this new knife I got. Yeah. And I was over there and I came back and I'm like, <laughs> I'm missing just, one. He you know? just took a shot at me. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Oh, competition. He thought I was coming up to get one. <laughs> It's hard to do a knife review when there's a bunch of people coming around taking videos and wanting to talk to you while you're cleaning fish. Anyway, you guys, I love the knife. It works really good. I like the flexible blade, and it just cut right through the bones of those sheep's head. Really easy. It's good for cleaning sheep's head. I guess it's a little awkward because it's a longer blade than what I'm used to, but I will get used to it. And uh, the glove, I like the glove. It's an extra level of safety protection, even though it's not cut proof. It is definitely cut resistant. The thing is though, it's just another item to clean. But listen guys, I had a great time making this video. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Everybody get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.